And before he joined the Jesus bus, Paul was a hater. Paul actually had letters from the high priest that enabled him to go and persecute early Christians. The high priest was a member of the Sadducee sect of Judaism. They controlled the sacrifices in the temple and didn't believe in the afterlife or the resurrection of the dead. But Saul began to destroy the church. Going from house to house, he dragged off both men and women and put them in prison. In his own words, Paul says he was beating up and arresting Christians because... Paul says that to him, as a Jew, the idea of a crucified Messiah, the Messiah going and getting crucified, was nonsense. Here's yet another bold-faced lie that they say in this documentary. Nowhere, no how, no place do they say this in scripture. And look at the vernacular. It comes from a postmodern mindset. Paul said to him. Now that's a subjective statement that we hear all the time in 2023 because relativism reigns the day. We've casted truth out of our culture. But there's no way an authoritative Pharisee would speak in this way to him. It would be a God statement. It would be an absolute truth statement that gave him the zeal to go out and kill the early church. To him, the idea of a crucified Messiah is utterly nonsense. That is ridiculous. That's not a statement from Paul at all. He was, as I already said, a zealous Jew to go out and destroy the early church who must have had a miraculous counter with the Lord Jesus Christ to change into a follower of Jesus Christ.